Hello everybody, so I probably gave another video. This is why I speak about my life as a dialogue person. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe below if you haven't done so already. Subscribing doesn't cost not one cent, so you just click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you can get Notify whenever I post a video. So, today I'm just gonna give a little help update on how I'm doing right now. Uh, as you can see, I did not post any video last week because I wasn't feeling too well and um, I was getting like headaches on and off. Anyways, so on my health, I mentioned in one of my earlier videos I could not walk properly. So let me explain that right now. I did a surgery last year, September, where I removed my parathyroid and thyroid glands because my parathyroid glands were overactive and my thyroid glands had a nodule on it. So the doctor removed both of them. Now after the surgery, my calcium level kind of dropped really, really low. So that resulted in my muscle and bones being very, very, very weak. So that's the reason why I cannot walk properly and I can't walk too strong or too normal. Like I'm supposed to be using a crutches to walk, but I managed to get around without the crutches for now. So that's kind of like progress I'm kind of getting there. So I have to be like super careful when I'm walking. Because like my legs are forever in pain and most times they feel weak. So I just have to take it easy and be careful that I don't end up injuring myself or like breaking a bone or straining my muscle or something like that. Yeah. So now with my calcium level, it's kind of progressing very slowly. I just have to keep taking my medications regularly. So, a couple months back, my blood level kind of dropped low because I did not take my potion injections, which are to help boost up my blood level. I did not take it for a month. So that caused my blood level to drop down. But I started back taking it and my blood level is doing okay so far. It's progressing well. It is above 9 point something right now, so it's doing okay. It's going up little by little. Also on my health, with my headache, the only pain medication I can take is paracetamol. But at the same time, I don't want to abuse any paracetamol and take too much of it. Because too much paracetamol can cause internal bleeding, from what I have read. And to be honest with you, taking paracetamol for me is like taking nothing at all. Because it doesn't really do anything for me. But that's the only pain medication I can take. Now, I died yesterday. Uh, as you can see, I have my two plasters on my hand. Dialysis went, my session went really well, but it was still a sad day for me in a sense that a dialysis session passed away yesterday. It, even if I am not really like a person to talk to everybody and to interact with everybody I'm always like to myself and quiet that's why I take doing these videos I take pleasure in doing these videos because it helps me to get like more open out even if I am not like talking to people directly but I know people are watching so it helps me to gain confidence in like speaking to people like right now from doing the couple of videos that I did I can actually have a simple conversation with somebody which I 
it looks like doing that all before. I'm mostly quiet and to myself and that's just me. But this is me a lot. So I don't like to speak to all Dali's patients, I don't interact much. But I treat every Dali's patient as a family member because like we are all going through the same process. So kidneys fail and we have to bend dialysis, we have to adjust in your lifestyle. So we are all in this together. So whenever the dialysis patient passes away, it's kind of like sad and heartbreaking for me. Because I mean like life is precious and like being on dialysis is like having a second chance at life. So please do not be broken down. But keep on pushing, keep on praying to God. God is always there. And just keep on doing your best. And to my family, one love. Don't know, I take joy in speaking about my family because I have a wonderful family support. I don't know how the other dialysis patients get treated by their family, but I can tell you for sure. I just pray that every dialysis patient get the same treatment and love from their family like I do. Because my family is just awesome. My family is wonderful. My family is blessed and I can say that every day because my family have my back like 200 or like let's say a million percent because they're always there. Even my little nephews, they're like mini doctors. They would run around the house like I would be going home and as soon as they run off the bus by the road, leave their home and they see me. I mean they would come around in like Uncle Cyrus, Uncle Cyrus like it has just bring me joy to be around them. They would take my crutch and like walk all around the house. They would say, oh, that is Uncle Sarah's clutches. And they would run all around the house as he's using it, trying to walk off it and thing. It's just a pleasure being around them. So, that's just my little update of my health. Right now I just have to like take it easy. Keep on taking my medication to boost up my calcium level. And... One day, hopefully, by God's grace, my calcium will go back up to normal and I'll be able to run or walk fast or maybe even dance or something like that again. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be praying for that day to come. So I just have to keep on taking my meds, continue doing my dialysis sessions. The, my doctors and nurses and my family at home say, I put on a little weight, which is good, and I'm not going to overdo you the weight. I have to also stick to my diet, which is challenging. I will speak about that in my next video. And um, yeah. Yeah, but besides the little odds is the headaches and my little weakness in my legs. I still get around, not as fast as a normal person, but I still get around, and I just take it a day at a time, progress, life in itself is a journey, you get from that stage to that stage, so I'm just going along with it easily, and I pray every day, I thank God for strength and health, and I just look for a brighter day and a better day and trust me, I believe and I know that my brighter day will come very soon and you can believe me when I tell that. So I want to tell all the Alice's patients in Dominica and around the world to keep on being strong, keep on praying. I mean you might feel at times God is not taking care of you because you're going for a lot. But he's always there with you. I look at my life and what I'm going through as a challenge, in spite of yours, just focus on progress. I don't look long on myself because I'm sick. I still try to stay positive. But let me also say thank you for thank you to everybody that has supported me. A lot of people have made 
donations to us my health. I want to really say thank you to everybody and thank you for all the love and all the support, all the motivation and I will keep doing my videos because it's a way of freeing up my head when I speak about my condition and my life. So, I will be doing a formal, a better thank you video to everybody that is supporting me. Thank you to all my subscribers, remember, subscribing doesn't cost you not one cent. Just click the subscribe button below and click the bell also so you can get notified whenever I post a video. And if you have any questions to ask, if you want to say anything to me at all, be Feel free to do so in the comments below. And yeah, thank you everybody. God bless. And do have a wonderful Wednesday. One love everybody. And bless up yourself. One child.